All right, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video. Uh, I'm a shotgun noob, so I don't know anything about, like, the shells or whatnot. So I just bought a, a ton of different kinds of shotgun shells and cut them open to see what it was. Obviously, you know, the bigger the shot, the smaller the pellets are. So I just wanted to go over this real quick. I can show you guys the difference. First, this is the Winchester... These are all 12 gauge, by the way. Um, two and three quarter, one and an eighth, one and an one eighth ounce, seven and a half shot. Right there. That's what they look like. They're really small. Put like a sharpie up to it so you can see the difference. How small they are. That's what the shotgun shell looks like. And next, I don't have the box for this, but it says that the shot shell, the shotgun shell says Expert HV Steel Shot, uh, one and or two and three quarters inch, one and eighth, one and one eighth ounce, six shot. And it looks like that again next to the sharpie. You can tell the difference between the two. The seven and a half shot, the six shot. Next, you have the uh, Rio, this box here, Rio Magnum 4 shot, 1 and 3, fourth ounce, 3 inch. This one actually says 1260 feet per second on the box, and that's it there compared to the other two. See the difference again? 7.5. Uh, six, four. That's what the, the shell looks like there. Then you got the Cellular and Bellot. Um, this is actually, f it's not, uh, this is actually a four buck. Like the other one before, this one here is a four shot. This is the Cellular and Bellop for buck. I mean, obviously notice it's 27 pellets. It's way bigger. Four buck here. Four shot there. So you can see the difference between the two. And that's the casing, the shell. Next one here is the Winchester. 12 gauge again, 3 inch, 12, 10 feet per second, 15 pellets, double lot buck. And that's this one here. You can tell the difference from the 4 and then the double lot buck at 15 pellets. That's what the shell looks like. A lot of people say double lot buck for home defense, but Winchester actually makes two different kinds. They make this one here, double out buck 15 pellets and double out buck 9 pellets and honestly they don't look that much different. I, I'd probably rather have this. Maybe a bigger spread. I'm not sure. I don't know. That's the shell on that one. That's the 9 pellet double out buck. It goes faster too. Well, this is 1325 feet per second versus the other double out buck. 12, 10 feet per second. And then I got some slugs. This is the uh, Winchester. This one here. One ounce slug. 1600 feet per second. That's what this one looks like right here. The shell. If you notice, these are actually hollow underneath. You can see the top. Then next I have the Remington, another one ounce, 1500 in the box here. 1560 feet per second. Compared to the 1600 on the Winchester. They kind of look the same, different color. But this one here is, the top is a little different. From the Winchester and again hollow. And 
And then last one you got to have the Royal Star, Rio, Royal Star. This one's actually bigger. It's one and one eighth ounce. You could, it's a slower velocity, 1410 feet per second. It looks like this here. And this one, instead of like a round, it's, it's kind of flattened in a round tip. But underneath it's hollow, but it has that little, uh, looks like a little indention. Maybe that's the extra one eighth ounce. But it goes slower, but it's heavier compared to the others. And it's not as tall either as the others, if you look at them. Maybe it's tall with a little dimple on the top, but sorry. So that's the different rounds, different shells that I got. Hopefully this teaches people some about them. I don't I had no idea. So there you go. I had others, but I didn't want to open. I had like an eight shot, but I figured that would be even smaller. You know, and other like low recoil double lock bucks and whatnot.